Welcome back to another edition of Fly Tying with Jim Ashura. Today I'm going to tie a Hemingway hopper stone. This could be used as a stone fly or a hopper, an adult stone fly or a hopper. And the hook that I have in the vise is the Hemingway. This is a curved dry fly, curved nymph hook. Use it for a dry fly or a nymph. It is H118, and this is a size 10. The body that I'm going to use on it is a Hemingway tube fly tube body, and this is the color I'm going to use. It says caddis pupa on here, but these are actually pretty long. But uh, they are all the they're all made the same way. Here is a a hopper attractor type or color. The next one is a a dark olive with uh, some sparkle olive in there or sparkle green. Here we have a reddish uh, with some more sparkle in there. We have another different color of a hopper body and here is a yellow. So they come in various different colors and like I said I'm going to use the olive right there and what I'm going to do is what I did was first thing I did was size it up to see where it's going to sit on the hook and I took my bodkin needle and put a hole through it and slid it down we want to make sure we have a pretty good uh, nice hollow hole through there the legs that I'm going to use, I'm going to use uh, Hemingway Stonefly Nymph rubber legs and I'm going to use these black ones here and for the wings I'm going to use the Hemingway Stonefly wings and they just pop out there's different colors these are large and these are the dark ones First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of a base of thread down for the tube body. I'm going to super glue it so it stays in place. And I'm going to use some 210 thread. And it's just black. So I'm going to start back some because I don't want to build up too much on the head there. Too much thread. Just going to go ahead and put about maybe a little more than half of the hook shank in total we're going to cover that and then I'm going to take my thread this being 210 I'm going to tighten that thread up good rope like and I'm going to palmer this forward I don't know if you could see that I think you could and this just gives more area for the glue. Come up to the top, we're going to put a half hitch in there or a whip finish in there. Just a couple, just secure it so it doesn't unravel when you cut the thread. Now I have my body and I have it on the bodkin and most of the bodkins I would bet most of you guys have one that has a that have flats on them like this. So I'm going to line it up and I'm going to keep that that body, the top of it, line aligned with one of the flats. And what I'm going to what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue my legs to the body. And it doesn't matter that you're going to see black or the color of the legs on top because that's going to be on top and the fish aren't going to see that. But what I am going to do is I'm going to cut that tab out of there a little more because I only need the legs, the leg portion. That's plenty to glue it on. And I end up with something like that. So I'm basically going to, I'm going to put my bodkin on the table keeping that top side up. Now I'm going to take my Loctite super glue gel and I'm going to put a little bit on there and you don't need much and this super glue gel is a great dispenser for small amounts. 
So I'm just going to put a couple little dots on there. Very, very little. Take my legs and lay them right on top of it. And you do have a few seconds. You do have some some little bit of time to work with it with once the gel. So there's the top. You're going to see that, but you're not going to see it because this is what the fish is going to see. You can see a little bit of glue oozed out of that side there. So we just put this on. Now they're permanently on there. Now I'm going to take a little bit of my glue once again and I'm going to put a little bit on the thread itself. I mean just a small amount you can see just that little bit and take that just that little bit more on the bottom. I'm going to take my glue my body off and I'm going to slide that right on there push that up see how quick it it settles and we could squeeze that and there we have our body get a little speck of glue off that bottom there that pushed out that'll actually fill the hole in so water doesn't get inside and keep the buoyancy so where we have the body on there and the legs on there now I'm gonna take a actually for this one I'm gonna take a dark colored thread I'm gonna use a black 8 aught thread and I'm going to attach it at the front and I'm gonna wrap that the front of that tube in there You can see why I wouldn't want the thread build up there. Now I'm going to take the uh, wings and when you get these you look at these and you have a dull side there and this side is shiny. So obviously we don't want the shiny side down, we want the shiny side to be on top because you know the wings aren't shiny so we're going to take a pair of these out and you can see it has a tab on it you can see that tab there we're gonna keep it and we're gonna keep those flat sides on the outside I'm gonna take this and I'm going to secure that And you can basically set these the way you want. If you want them just laying flat over the body like it is sitting still, just put them that way. If you want them spread a little bit, you could go ahead and do that also. I'm going to take the second one. I'm going to pull that out and I'm going to put that one right on top. Line up those the backs. And we're going to go ahead and secure that. You don't want to over you don't want to uh overdo the thread at this time. Okay, my I'm not lined up perfectly there, so I'm going to go ahead and reset that one. Yeah, there we go. I'm going to hold that firmly in place and secure that. There, that is much better there. Now I'm going to take, because this is sticking up here, I'm going to take just a little bit, just another drop of glue, and I'm going to put it on, actually going to put it on the legs, the center part of the leg there. Don't need to use a lot. 
go ahead and push that down now there's one sometimes you get two of them on the first shot I'm just gonna put another little drop on the other leg and you don't need much at all and I'm gonna put that down and that's gonna hold it there and right there you basically have your stonefly body but I'm going to put some uh, deer hair on top so that uh, we add to the buoyancy of it and you can also you'll also be able to see the fly better so I'm just going to use the deer hair and I cut a, a hank of it off the hide then I'm going to take the get get yourself one of these it's a flea and tick comb and then that pulls the loose, the short hairs and the under fur out of there. And you're still going to have a, a good amount of short ones in there still. So you go ahead and remove all of them. We're going to put this in the, in the hair stacker. And just give that a few taps. I tap it on my knuckle. You can tap it on the tabletop, but when you tap it on the tabletop, sometimes it sounds like someone's knocking on the door. And I'm going to lift it a little bit and tap it down again. We'll put it sideways, and we have our hair sticking out. Got one long one there. Now I'm going to measure that up. We just want that no longer than the wing. It could even be a little bit shorter than the wing. Remember, this is for buoyancy and for sight. So it could be shorter. We're going to put that in place. And we're going to snug that right in there. Get that nice and tight with a couple of wraps first. Then I'm going to wrap through it. Go ahead and kind of stand these up a little bit. You could actually get it to where it's going right around or almost right around. And then you can just wrap your thread through them. I reach the eye here. I'm going to try to get them a little bit more even. Now I'm going to take my bodkin and I'm going to give it a couple of half hitches. Go once, twice. With a double half hitch. I'm going to put that in the over the eye. And I'm going to push that back a little bit so I can expose that eye. And you can slide that off once, twice. If I can find that eye, there it is. Push that back and push it in it. it this is just like packing hair, packing deer hair for a trimmed spun deer hair body. We're going to give that one more. That way we can take that uh, thread off. And now we're just going to trim this. Another good tip for you is take your bodkin needle and you can stand them all up. And you can see you may have a little space on there that is going to be showing the thread, but that's okay because it's black. And we go ahead and stand this up. And we can trim this off nice and tight.
I like to get this nice and tight. I don't want to. I don't want a big head on there. You can also use your scissors to bring that. Uh, to bring those hairs up, and if you get, sometimes it sticks up way too far. So you could you could take just a little bit of that wing and push that forward and trim that off with it. I'm going to go ahead and grab all of this. Make it a little easier for the trimming. Now I can take a little bit of head cement and put the head cement on the bottom on the thread and I'm going to put a little bit of it on the head also or right into that hair there. Let that soak right in. Make sure you don't get any in the eye. And here we have a Hemingway stone hopper. You can use this as a stone fly, you can use this as a hopper. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope that you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends. Please visit my sponsors. Let them know I sent you. Leave comments, questions, suggestions. If you'd like to purchase any flies that I make, go to etsy.com slash shop slash the flyman gym. And if you don't see it, just send me a message and tell me what you want. And we'll figure out from there. And most of all, Thank you very much for watching my videos.